It is excellent to have you here today, and it's excellent to have you in our Highway to 100 Unicorns program, because this program is all about finding startups that we know are going to do a really big thing in this region. Um, Helios P2P is definitely one of those startups, and we are stoked to have you here today, Nuzi, um, CEO and MD and co-founder. Would you tell us what Helios P2P does and how it started? Thanks, Cathy, for the introduction. So, uh... Helios P2P is Sri Lanka's first peer-to-peer -peer lending platform. So we're an online marketplace which connects lenders and borrowers together. Uh, we were winners of the 2017 John Kirilchuk Innovation Challenge. And uh, basically the uh, idea kind of uh, ramped up from there when we got seed capital from Hills Holdings, uh, which is one of the largest conglomerates in Sri Lanka. That's about it in a nutshell, I guess. Yeah, wow. Well, <laughs> that's a real superpower to be able to um, deliver the explanation in such a tight nutshell. Um, and so, you know, as part of the, you know, bringing this startup into the Highway to 100 Unicorns program, what do you hope to achieve while you're um, with us for this next 12 months um, on your journey? Um, so there are a few aspects that we're looking to. One is like... Um, utilize the Microsoft tech platform in terms of Azure and, you know, the other associated benefits that come along with it. So that to see where that could tie in and, you know, bring value to our core business, uh, our credit scoring, for our customer lead generation, et cetera. And also uh, we're looking forward to, you know, getting expertise uh, and support from Microsoft in terms of, you know, for startups, um, you know, um, the expertise that Microsoft obviously brings in is tremendous and we, we would like to you know learn from that and uh, accelerate our growth basis and when you're making decisions um on you know your technical um you know what are the what are the key criteria when you're making key technology decisions for your company um so currently you know we were looking at a cloud-based approach in terms of um, connectivity so Scalability, uh, cost effectiveness, and security, you know, those are some of some of the key considerations that we kind of uh, have to pay uh, heed to. Being a fintech as well, um, you know, there are regulatory requirements as well. Uh, but uh, we try to make sure that we, we kind of follow best practices, you know, in terms of the OM principles. Um, those are things that we know we, we try to make sure that uh, we do code reviews, et cetera, to make sure that we have a high standard. Yeah, so, you know, your ethos is is hard working quality built on really strong foundations. What sort of um, challenges do you get presented with? I mean, that's such a good place to come from where you're kind of like, we need to be super sturdy in what we do. Uh, and now we can go out and to face the challenges that, that are going to hit us. What what sorts of things do you come across? Um, so some of the things that we've come across uh, from you know technology viewpoint is like you know needing to ramp up uh, at times. Uh, apart from that, you know um, the learnings that we get from our customers continually. That's that's uh, um, it's been a source of uh, you know learning for us. Uh, it can also be challenging at times, but you know that's the feedback that we get back, and you know that's how we can continually improve. So mm. Keep our ear to the ground to understand, you know, what the customer sentiment is, uh, and to make sure that uh, we try to try our best to deliver a, a, a good service as much as possible. And has any of that customer feedback been surprising to you? Has has there been something you were sure was a shoe in, and then the customer feedback said, "No, this is a different trend that we're seeing, or this is really what we want to see," and had to sort of pivot based on that? Um, so maybe not. Uh, I wouldn't say explicit feedback from customers, uh, but some things that we have observed, um, you know, um, in terms of um, certain certain bottlenecks that were occurring in terms of you know processing loans, uh, we found we observed like you know sometimes getting documentation can be uh, a bit uh, difficult. So we kind of pivoted to separate products around that area, um, and those have really picked up, and uh, we've been able to mitigate the risk. A great deal with the use of technology as well. Yeah. Um, what's 
you know, with with the impact that you're going to make and are already making, um, what would the impact of the Highway to 100 Unicorns program be um, to Sri Lanka and, and driving economic growth there? Um, so I see like, uh, you know, tremendous potential with regards to that, um, spe specifically because, uh, you know, um, the way this program is structured for, uh, you know, startups in general, right? Um, uh, basically, from a Sri Lankan perspective, it's it's really great, you know, that uh, we've been shortlisted from the the Asian region, and you know that we've got an opportunity to be a part of this. Uh, and we feel, you know, with uh, Microsoft's credentials, especially, you know, and the the backing in the cloud in terms of the Azure infrastructure platforms, uh, you know, it provides. Uh, a great stepping board to you know deliver cloud native sort of applications, and uh, it uh, it allows us to scale and test, and you know also um, uh, have access to you know other uh, avenues of you know uh, seeing how we can scale our company as well. Yeah, um, that's it's also you're so chilled out. Like I have to say that just you know your your um. Your MO seems to be cool, calm, collected, take it as it comes, see what you're going to learn and, and kind of go from there. Um, and that's a really, um, it's a really great way to be. There's just nothing, nothing flustered about you. Um, and so with, with where to next, what are some of the key trends you're seeing in the market? This is such a new market and such a, I mean, when you're explaining what it is that you do, you you might often come across people who don't who aren't familiar with blockchain or the intricacies of it, um, and how it's actually less risk to go this way with lending. So, um, what sort of trends are you seeing in your market, and how is um, Helios PDP addressing them? Um, so, to be honest, I think uh, with the backdrop of the COVID pandemic, uh, there has been a push for people to move towards digital payments and uh, I think the adoption has kind of risen with the with some of the uh, digital natives you know adopting it and uh, with that uh, we, we've also looked at uh, tying up with certain wallets in Sri Lanka as an acquisition strategy so uh, we believe you know we just need to ramp up on that and uh, we believe it's a good acquisition strategy you know to have to their base so um, Fingers crossed, hopefully, you know, that's going to pay off and uh, we will be able to see some really good, good growth over there. Um, any aspirations to um, grow out into any other regions or countries? Um, yes, so we, we really want to nail down the consumer credit market in here, uh, possibly then move on to SME lending. And the plan is to move into nascent markets, probably in Southeast Asia or in Asia, in South Asia, uh, because um, there are a few markets we feel, you know, that uh, they're kind of nascent, but there, there is like, you know, uh, emerging markets that we feel benefit where we could go with maybe a, a partner in one of those markets. Cool. Um, and so the last question that I have um, is, is one that a lot of the startups have been kind of surprising me with their answer. It's um, how has COVID affected or transformed Helios P2P? And I say that I've been surprised all of the time because in fact, 100% of the answers have been that either the startup was um, came about because of COVID or it was uh, sped up by COVID or that COVID made somebody realise that they just um, absolutely have to do what the tug is that they're feeling. Um, but, you know, you're a fair way along the way in your journey. So how how has it um, how has it impacted you? Honestly, it was a bit challenging at first. Um, you know, there were a few restructurings and stuff that came in. Um, there was a bit of a rise in the NPL ratios. Um, but uh, I think we've seen the tide through in terms of, you know, uh, over the past, Two years, hopefully, things have kind of turned. Um, and also, we've been like cautious about our growth over the couple of years. You know, we had to uh, make sure our mitigation strategies were strong, and you know, the risk controls were you know more stronger. Um, 
and uh, I think we've tied it through that phase. And now what we've seen is, you know, uh, things have improved significantly, um, almost to better than a pre-COVID level, to be honest. So yeah. That's, that's Here we go. Another yeah. positive answer. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, which I think I attribute to the sunny nature, um, glass half full um, attitude of, of founders in general is kind of seeing the opportunities where not many other people would see opportunity. Um, so, you know, hats off to you. And um, we are so glad that you're in the Microsoft for Startups uh, Unicorns program. We do want to see you emerge, um, you know, illustrious and with a full horn ready to go and take the world on um is there anything that you feel that while you're in this program microsoft specifically will be able to help you with or do you have an aspiration that you want to say now so that we can measure it at the end of your journey um yeah so you know we, we, we would like to see um you know maybe um explore at initial stage like you mentioned you know foreign markets partners that we could work with you know that sort of aspirations to have those kind of uh, talks in advance so that we kind of set the stepping stone to you know the right kind of partners that we can go with basically absolutely technology actually nailed, like fully nailed down over here as well and we can build on top of microsoft tech basically yeah, well, with the connections um, and bonds that you'll make both business and technological, technologically wise in this program, um, I feel confident that we'll be able to um, take you further together. Um, this is definitely a program where the startups who put the most in get the most out. Um, so thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for joining us in this program. Um, we'll see a lot of you. We're looking forward to checking back in in six months and seeing how things are going. But thanks so much for today. Thank you, Katie. Thanks for having me. Take care. Nice to meet you. See you.